So now I'm going to go through the login.php and authenticate.php uh, pages. So to save a bit of time, I actually have the. I actually have the um, code here, but it's basically just a simple form. Um, instead of going to core forward slash reg check, like in the register, it goes to core forward slash authenticate.php, uh, which is a page we're going to create um, in a second. Um, text, username, and a placeholder for enter your username. Um, on next line, password, name, password, enter your password, and a button with the value of login. And this feedback code here is actually exactly the same from register.php. It was exactly copied over as well, so um, not going to lie about that. Um, so, um, we don't need IDs in this login because we're not working with JavaScript. If you wanted to, then you'd obviously need the IDs. Um, but since this is just straight to PHP, then you don't need any IDs involved. Um, so now we can save that out, and if I refresh, as you can see, I have got rid of the pages because actually I had to do this one again because I made a massive mistake. So let's just start one pop again. Uh, refresh, login, and there's a the page. I'm not going to open database because we don't need to look in that at the moment. Um, where are we? There we go. So now on to authenticate.php. Um, so first of all, we need to require the database, the the uh, connection to database. I've got no space. Require. Um, dbc.php and we're going to say if what's going on <laughs> if is not enter um, dollar underscore post um, username and Not enter dollar underscore post password. So if this nothing been entered, then we can just uh, redirect back to the um, login page, login.php feedback equals all. Are required okay so now we can carry on and basically just put in our variables no my score underscore real underscore I'm not having any luck now um, username Right, and we can just copy this down and change this to password and this one to password as well okay so we need a query now similar to the other tutorials and the register.php mysql underscore query um, select all from users where username is equal to the username that was passed through um, num row is equal to my score score and rows I'm going to put a query in there so now we can say if Um, if num row doesn't equal zero, so basically um, num row actually that should be. So if it doesn't equal zero, that means there is a username available. So we can continue trying to log the user in. Else header um, 
feedback. Um, da, 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 what, what are we doing here again? Username doesn't exist. Basically, that's what we can put in there. So, user doesn't exist. So, if the user does exist, then we're going to create a while loop to actually get the password. So, while row is equal to query net db underscore username um, row username and db underscore password so they get the encrypted password from the database so we can compare it Um, then outside the while loop, we're going to encrypt the password that the user has passed through. So MD5. So what the user type, the password user typed in, we're going to encrypt that. So now we can um, create an if statement to compare the passwords. So if um, you don't really need this one, the username check, but it's just something extra to have because obviously if we're at this point they're both the same obviously because otherwise we wouldn't have actually got to this point uh, but it's just a nice little check to have for fun basically you don't really need it so if to encrypt your password is the same as the db underscore password then else header feedback equals um, incorrect password so if if we're all good and the user has passed our checks we're going to start the session so we can create a session called username and the value inside that is going to be the um, the username of the uh, user obviously and then we're going to redirect to a members page um, you can put a link there if you want to say in login successful click here to continue or whatever way it's going to go straight to a members page um, and that should be good so if I just try this out if I um, leave everything blank all fields required put some rubbish username in there user doesn't exist um, if I put in a username but do a wrong password incorrect password and if I do everything right um, members there we are welcome you are now logged in as Ash um, and the logout is logout I'm going to uh, talk you through them pages now um, so basically the members page uh, we start the session off there um, always remember to start the session before you actually do any of the members code like for example anything up here will be shown anyway no matter what and um, so if is set dot underscore session username and um, now I've also broke this down into lines and a line here if you can see got a line there and a line here a PHP code that base that's basically I've put that there so you can in between them PHP codes you can put um, just normal HTML if you prefer and then just if you want anything in PHP just open your tags up in there like so um, and then anything between this else and the closing last um, curly bracket um, basically anything in there you put um, if the user is not logged in so you can put please log in to see this page I can put um, um, if you just wanted to redirect back to um, a login page, you just put in a header in there, just like that, um, or click put a link in there. So just normal HTML. I've done that, so you can put normal HTML inside um, some PHP checks. Um, so that's members, and then logout.php is really simple. We start the session, then we destroy the session. 
um, and then we just link uh, redirect back to index.php so I hope this video was a bit better than the other one um, I, I think it's slightly bit better um, like I said it's not it's not a majorly advanced script um, I'll probably say it's somewhere in between of simple and advanced but um, it's definitely I think it's definitely better and definitely more organized than the other registration and login videos which I, re I think is pretty poorly designed to be honest um, but I hope this video was a bit better and a lot more help than the other one so thanks for watching and I will see you next time